got one here, Perry. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at those. Oh, those are great. Perch are on fire. Ouch. <laughs> Hi, it's Chris and I with Skins It. We're out on Lake Ponsa today, and the big perch are just on fire. 12 foot of water on the sandbar. They're just biting like crazy today. Beautiful day. Perry's got one again. Oh, wow. Let's see what we got going here now. Nice perch. Oh, yeah. So today we're using the uh, Shucks Jigger. We got a two-tone green, and we're just hooking a minnow on right through the lips. Taking oh, it down to the bottom. Here. There you go, Chris. Oh, yeah. That Jigger's working today. That was a nice perch up here. Look like a good one here, buddy. Here we go. Oh, yes. Nice perch. Oh, just <laughs> dropped it down there, Perry. Got another one. <laughs> oh, I missed mine. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Those are some nice, pretty fish, aren't they? Well, we come out this morning, and we started out on a mud flat out in about 16 foot of water. Didn't have much luck there. So our, the wind started going down, so we decided to come over onto the uh, southwest sandbar, come up into about 12 foot of water on that sand. Uh, it was a little slow at first, but we started casting and draw the, we drew the fish to the boat. And then once we got them here, we've just kept them here nonstop, just as fast as you can go. As soon as that hits the bottom with those St. Croix rods, you could just feel them breathe on it, and boom, you got them. Just beautiful South Dakota perch. There's a littler one. That's a little one. Might let that one go back, don't you think? Oh yeah, that's let him grow up. Yeah. We've been catching jumbos. Of course, with the skins that we'd get a nice foy off we that We sure fish. would, Perry. Be like a potato chip. <laughs> It'd be really good. <laughs> now, when we catch those smaller fish, we always like to pitch them on the other side of the boat, give them a little distance. You know, if you just flip them right back over where you're catching them straight down, a lot of times those smaller fish will hit the bottom and take off and they can pull that school right off with them. So never release a smaller fish right where you're fishing over the edge. Always give it a little pitch behind you. That way you, want, you keep your school right below you. Well, folks, we're closing in on our limit. I'll tell you, we've caught all these fish right here in one spot. I'll tell you what really helps is these uh, Minn Kota deckhands. As you can see how we've got them rigged up here, we got two of them out. So we can sit perfectly sideways. The boat doesn't spin at all. So you can fish straight down vertically and have no swing going on at all. Now, if you noticed what we've done with these deck hands is we've mounted them on boat swivels. We actually put a seat base in, mounted this on a this deck hand on a seat pedestal, so it sits up high. These things have nice small 100-pound strength rope, so you don't need a lot of line out, and they just hold you right in position even with a pretty stiff wind. I highly recommend using these deck heads when you're anchored up for panfish. They're yep. awesome. And then you get fish like this, Perry. <laughs> Look at <laughs> that. Nice job, Chris. Look at that perch. Yeah. The other nice thing with these Minn Kota deck hands is you can make quick adjustments with their, just by up and down, letting out more rope if you want to. If you feel like the schools move, you just hit a button, and the rope just automatically starts going. So you can move yourself. When you think you get in a new position, just stop it, and there you're set, ready to fish again. Well, I can tell you what, Perry, I think we should just stay in this spot. Look at that one. <laughs> that is a, look at that bad boy. <laughs> oh, another nice one, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Well, not a jumbo, but a nice perch. Oh, this might be a big one. We might need the net for this one. Oh, oh it's a walleye, walleye this time, buddy. A lot of times these smaller walleyes hang right with these perch. I bet we've caught 25 or 30 of those little walleyes today. I'd say we have, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Jeez, that's a jumbo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one thing I like about these uh, six foot St. Croix rods is that I can just swing these fish in when we're really close to the boat. Yeah, that works great that way, don't it, it, Chris? It sure does. Yeah, you don't need that longer rod because we're not casting, you know, you just. Correct, correct. This way, right over the edge, as soon as you bring it up, you can just. Swing it right to the boat. Right to the boat. Oh, nice one. Look Holy at that mackerel, one, buddy. look at that thing. 
Well, this is it. Chris has made our limit for the day. Yep, I guess we need to go in and uh, use up the skins in here. Good day, Perry. <laughs> All right, buddy. I'm here with two Hall of Fame anglers, John Campbell and Ted Takasaki, my buddy Chris, and we're gonna take this skins it and put it to work. The best way to do it, folks, is two guys flying, two people using the skins it. We're gonna fly through these fish in no time. Well, folks, you can see how fast John Campbell and Tim Takasaki are ripping through these perch. If you want to see how we do this, check us out at fishgitter.com. I'm Perry Parks with Midwest Outdoors, and we'll be right back. <laughs>